in one talk I was giving, um, I put up, and this it was a talk to uh, mostly transsexuals and uh, transvestites. And by the way, there's a difference. Vestus means clothing. So transvestites want to live in the other uh, gender's clothing. In the other gender's clothing for transvestites. Yeah. And transsexuals, they actually want to change their... Now, the terms are now loosely used in many ways. Certainly the common laity don't make the distinction. But often journalists don't either, and they don't know uh, the difference. But the So the term, definition of a transgender is? Well, that's what I was going to say. The term of transgender has changed. Originally, it was to the person who said, I don't want to change my sex. I just want to change my gender. So in <clears> other <throat> words, a person can say, hey, I'm a male, a heterosexual male, and I just want to live as a female, but I'm still heterosexual. Yes. So that, so that, but that's gotten confused over time. So now the terms are th used interchangeably. Now, the, the confirmed transsexual who says, I really want to change my sex. Mm -hmm. I don't like my penis. I want to have a vagina. Uh, or the woman, who's the female who says, I want to get rid of my breasts and I don't like to menstruate. And by the way, these are traumatic times for that, that pubertal individual who mm -hmm. thinks they ought to live as a male, the, the, the female. When she menstruates, that's a terrible thing for her. Right. And for the guy, the male who goes through puberty and starts getting a deeper voice or facial hair. Or that that voice is the most terrible thing. Mm -hmm. And they'll pay as much to get rid of their hair all over their body as they do for the surgery. Dad, I don't know if you remember when I was younger and I was doing makeup, you had me do makeup for a whole group of trans sexuals and transvestites and how to get rid of that brow bone and make cheekbones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's important it for them important. to be able to identify with who they, with the, the gender they want to be. Yeah. Well, and you know, people ask me, how do I get along with all these people? And I say, I was given this talk and I put up a, a, a slide that said, nature loves variety. Yep. I mean, we're all different height, different eye colors, different weight, all that. Nature loves variety. Look at the trees. Do you ever see two trees together? Right, no snowflake no. is alike. That's right. Society hates it. Right. Society wants everybody, everybody to be consistent, to be fit in this box. Well, when I put up that slide, I was amazed. Half the audience starts clapping. <laughs> I said, what I do? And it was an audience of transvestites? Yeah, and transsexuals, yeah. And you know what I said? And they all said, said that resonated so much with them. Yeah. Because they're always putting up with society just because they're a little different. Anyway, <laughs> somebody asked me. I found out that that's now. Google, if you Google that saying. <laughs> you come up. Yeah. Nature loves Nature variety. Nature loves variety. Unfortunately, society hates it. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond, the University of Hawaii School of Medicine, John A. Burns School of Medicine. Um, if you're interested in things I have to say or interested in the things I've written about, I have a website you can check out. It's under the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. And if you'd like to keep in touch or you'd like me to let you know if I'll be speaking in your area or writing things you may be interested in, drop me a line, fill out this form that's associated with this, and we can keep in touch. Thank you.